so completely inappropriate in so many ways. She's not the same person. Uh, she's lost it. But again, a dose of his own medicine. Stone cold crazy. He comes in with doggy do on his shoes, and everybody who works with him has that on their shoes, too. Crazy Nancy Pelosi's House Democrats have branded themselves with an eternal mark of shame, and it, it really is, it's a disgrace. He's our president, and I would rather he not be taking something that has not been approved uh, by the scientists, especially in his age group and in his, shall we say, weight group, what is morbidly obese, they say. Oh, I don't, I don't respond to her. I think she's a waste of time. Pelosi is a sick woman. She's got a lot of problems, a lot of mental problems. What the president did was totally outrageous. Totally outrageous. If it was unwitting, that would be pathetic and dangerous. If it was intentional, that would even be, I don't know what's worse. Crazy Nancy, I tell you what, I've been watching her and I have, I have been watching her for a long period of time. She's not the same person. Uh, she's lost it. I frankly feel very sad about the president making this claim. I felt sorry for him. You know, she's a mess. Look, let's face it, she doesn't understand it. And uh, they sort of feel she's disintegrating before the rush. She does not understand it. Appalling. Nancy Pelosi is a horrible person. What the president uh, misunderstands is that cruelty is not wit. I think Speaker Pelosi's incompetent. She lost the Congress once. I think she's going to lose it again because it's so bad for the country. And Nancy Pelosi, I mean, she should go back to her district and clean it up. Do you hate the president, Madam Speaker? I don't, I don't hate anybody. I don't have was raised in the Catholic House. We don't hate anybody. I don't hate anyone and always prayed for the president. And I still pray for the president. I pray for the president all the time. So don't mess with me when it comes to words like that. Nor do I like people who say, I pray for you. Let us pray. Let us pray for the president. But I doubt you, President. I think the president is a coward when it comes to helping uh, our, our kids who are afraid of gun violence. I think he is cruel when he doesn't deal with the, the, helping our dreamers. If you look at Nancy Pelosi eating ice cream on late night television, yeah, I think they probably are. They're having a good time. First of all, it's an official document. You're not allowed. It's illegal what she did. She broke the law. And, uh, he has shredded the truth in his speech. He's shredding the Constitution in his conduct. I shredded his state of his mind address. It is a matter of fact that the president is an ongoing threat to our national security and the integrity of our elections, the basis of our democracy. She's doing a tremendous disservice to the country. She hates the Republican Party. She hates all of the people that voted for me and the Republican Party. Some people think that she's, uh, she doesn't know what she's doing. And in good faith to negotiate with you about how we can keep the government open. open. The, 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 we're going to keep it the open American, if we have border security. The American, if we don't yeah. have border security, I'm, Chuck, I'm with you. we're not going to keep it open. I'm with you. We are going to have border security. And it's, let's, debate okay. Yeah. let's debate in private. Okay? Yeah. Let's debate in private. That is devoid, frankly, of fact. And we, we can... Just... We, because Nancy Pelosi is grossly incompetent. She is incompetent. And you're about to find that out. Thank <laughs> you.